I don't remember for what reason, but I was recently thinking about sympathetic strings. They are a device that can be found on some string instruments, and they basically are a set of strings that aren't directly played by the musician. Instead, they are set into motion by resonance. So whenever the main string plays a note that is uh, within the overtones of the sympathetic string's frequency, it will begin to resonate. If you want to learn more about overtones and harmonics, I will link to a video that we shot earlier here and in the description. A similar result can be experienced when we play a note on a piano, just one key, with the sustained pedal pressed. Besides, of course, having a longer tail because the dampers are lifted up, we can also hear some accessory vibration all over the string board because uh, the other strings that are in a harmonic tuning, harmonic relationship with the, with the key we struck, are also set into motion by sympathy. So the vibration of one body propagates through the air and sets into motion also other strings that are tuned to a harmonic ratio to the frequency that is actually filling the air. It is quite an interesting topic, so if you want to learn more about that, we might shoot a dedicated video. Just let me know, as usual, in the comments below. Anyway, I had an idea, uh, because some instruments have 12, some instruments that are tuned with the 12-tone uh, system have 12 sympathetic strings that resonate uh, whenever we play any note on uh, the main strings. And so I've got this idea, uh, why don't we use Fumana as our resonant string set? Let's see. So this is the patch where we will start from. It is quite simple. We have a very straightforward bass line, just a soto in Tukunsa. And we have this uh, melodic uh, line over track two that uses another filter on the Kunsa, which I am pinging through the gates. So nothing too fancy and uh, the only thing that I just used to add a bit of variation is a randomized CVB that controls the source parameter over the brain so oscillator just to add a bit of variety. I deliberately spread my melody across different octaves uh, and we will see why in a minute. So my idea right now is to uh, set Fumana into self-oscillation mode uh, through a very dramatic feedback effect. And it is the most straightforward feedback that we can create on Fumana. So we will take the odd output and patch it to the odd input and the even output back into the even input. And then we will take the all output and patch it to our CGM mixer right now. I am creating an array of 16 sine waves that can be very harsh and very distorted. As you can see, whenever I uh, increase the amplitude of certain bands, I can play Fumana even with no input. I already discussed this technique, I think, in another video or different videos on Fumana feedback, and if I remember where they are, I will link them here and in the description. My idea now is this. If I patch a copy of my melody to the modulation input, I will excite only those bands corresponding roughly to the frequency that I am playing. So, this is my melody. If I take a sine wave of this melody and patch it to the modulation input, you can see that 
when the melody is crossing those frequencies, it is setting those bands into self-resonation. But if I play them together, it's not sounding quite as good. Now, if I take advantage of those switches down here, which invert the phase of those outputs only, not this one, I will have a different flavor of feedback. So instead of this, I will have this. Which is much more polite and blends a little bit better with my melody. The problem is that if I am stopping, whenever I stop the sequence, I will always have this sine wave, which uh, is not quite dynamic. And I want to add a bit of a tail of uh, an actual uh, sympathetic strings to that. So I want to patch my sine wave to another input of the Kunsa filter. For example, I can use filter uh, number two. And since uh, these inputs here are semi-normal, I can use the same gate that I am using to um, controlling the, uh, the main melody, patch it just uh, uh, an input earlier, and now I will control both filters. So I will have uh, my melody coming from the final output from this filter here and I will have the same melody but played with a sine wave out of this output here and I can play with the decay as well and I will use this sound to excite my Fumana band which is much more dynamic. I can always compare it with the... I can play with the levels to find out what is best to set the whole feedback into motion and to avoid the distortion. And if I play with something like this, um, I obtain this effect here. And if I blend everything together, I think it's really beautiful. Of course, if I use other sound sources besides the sine wave, for example, in this case, I am using the square, the pulse shaper output, I will have a richer tone, which will open more bands. I deliberately choose not to use any reverb for this patch or any external effect so that we can appreciate what Fumana can do to add more ambience to our sound. And I have also another trick that I can use which is the decay knob. Right now it's fully counterclockwise but I can use it to add more decay to our sympathetic strings. Now this is quite the opposite of a sympathetic string set because they should be tuned to the notes that I am actually playing and instead these bands are 
uh, tuned to fixed frequencies that do not correspond to any specific notes. They are tuned 5.5 semitones apart from each other for the exact reason of not emphasizing any frequency over another because this is a filter bank and it should treat all our sound or audible sound spectrum equally. Still, I think that uh, we can use it for the opposite purpose of what it was originally built for with very nice results. Okay, I think that we can cap it here as far as sympathetic strings for modular synthesizer go. Uh, as you can see, the limits, uh, the physical design of uh, the tools we use for this effect are quite the opposite of uh, actual sympathetic strings, but I think that looking at the real world to find inspiration for our modular patches is uh, still a source for some unexpected results like this one. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you next time for more patch ideas.